Dear students, welcome back. It is the second video of week two, and we are learning different types of writing. In the last video, we learned about the type and importance of academic writing. And we learned that why academic writing is important for the students in exams, <clears throat> projects, and how academic writing sets a stage for a student to develop the other types of writing as professional, like content writers or in the <clears throat> official correspondence. Now we are going to learn about the key characteristics of academic writing. Characteristics means qualities. What are the main features, qualities of the academic writing? The first thing we observe in academic writing, dear students, is formal tone. That academic writing is highly formal. It is not a soft discussion that, let's read it, it is not light-hearted or conversation, conversational in tone. Slang and cliches do not belong to this type of writing. Light-hearted writing means conversational expressions that we share with our friends, <clears throat> brothers and sisters, in which we cut jokes or the day-to-day -day expression rather than it is highly subject-oriented and formal. Another word is use slang. Slangs are, co are disapproved expressions or inappropriate words which we uh, which the people use in their daily routine fine their expressions are called slangs clear and cliches are the overused words or idioms or expressions or proverbs they're called cliches like for example some person writes uh, writing instructions for the students that we should care about our conversations, be sure that walls have ears. Walls have ears. Clear? Walls have ears. Ears mean Khan. Fine. In Urdu we translate it Khan. So it means this walls have ears is a cliche. An apple in a day keeps the doctor away. Fine. These overused common expressions, utterly common expressions, are called cliches. And therefore, in academic writing, these cliches are not used. Writers are quite careful. They use the standard words from social life, from other experiences, but they uh, avoid using disapproving taboos, slangs, cliches, uh, and informal expressions, abusive words, for example. Often we use here, you guys, you guys, you guys. This is not appropriate expression uh, to be used in the formal academic writing and we also should avoid it using in formal meetings. Next is precise language. Precise means concise, comprehensive, means in which there are less words and more sense. And a precise language clearly conveys the author's subject matter intention and meanings and dear students 
really writing simple precise and to the point is the challenge and that is the crux of writing that if a person is able to write precise clear well constructed sentences that is a writer in true sense and in academic writing just observe your uh, books of computer sciences by written by some foreign author I mean a person trained in the academic writing and you find that they are well knit very precise they do contain appropriate examples exercises and uh, the typography highlighting bullet and italics they all are included so that these books have to be used by the students therefore there must be a non verbal attraction clear uh, and captivation for the student so that whatever they are aiming to digest may find or stay in the brain well point of view uh, let's read it point of view usually written in the third person point of view because it focuses is its focus is to educate on the facts rather than to support an opinion or give advice the students what are the points of view point of view actually is to tell something either in first person for example uh, the point of view of the first person it is personal information for example i write my own biography that uh, i am a teacher of english language in biit uh, i'm affiliated with this department for last 10 years uh, i'm quite interested in uh, writing and communication uh, but i have always found teaching as challenging find mean it is personal point of view first person point of view some person is telling a story of his own then there is second person point of view that you tell for example telling something that qaid azam mohammed ali jinnah born in karachi he was a very uh, intelligent and dedicated individual and one of the leading person of the subcontinent now we are telling something about qaid azam mohammed ali jinnah so this is the third person point of view and you is usually addressing for example i'm talking to you okay students how are you have you listened to the videos of the week 1 have you prepared your assignment this is the third person point of view clear therefore in academic writing we do not say something from the perspective of something we simply talk about the subject matter in direct expression for example uh let's say we are talking about facebook application fine it is there the two point of views point of view one is that we write from the writer's perspective designers engineers owners perspective that mark zuckerberg a student of computer sciences invented this wonderful application which connects the people he was very intelligent person right from the day and he often thought about connecting the people and mean minimizing the distances this is third person point of view but now mean impersonal point of view the point of view which is preferred in academic writing it is uh facebook currently known meta is the largest social media app which connects 
thousands, hundreds people all over the world and is changing their minds and bringing up revolution in the technology and business and relationship. Facebook was developed in the in the times of social restrictions clear facebook is very effective fine no this is we are focusing on simply the uh, subject matter we are not interested in uh, mark zuckerberg or any other person research focus you all know that academic writing is the collection of access information data ideas samples projects for the students to learn practice and then utilize those skill in the real time therefore it is necessary in academic writing that the information the exercises, the content, the models, charts, graphs, I mean all the material must be real time, latest, interesting. And that should be specific, result oriented. If the syllabus is not well researched, is not interesting, is not up to the mark, and doesn't fill the need of the R, is outdated, and students cannot get maximum benefit. Let's, for example, the just compare. The books of Punjab Textbook Board mean your matriculation, FA and FSE, and you find that these contents are years old. Clear? And they are often less interested, interesting. Whereas the books published by Oxford University Press, by the uh, Cambridge University Press, McRoyal, uh, you find they are amazing. They always contain the latest example, latest problems, research, formulas, equations. Because they understand it that now the world has changed. It is 2022 and the things have been changed. Therefore, outdated information is obstilated and one should not expound expound mean to give the students outdated information organization organization is another characteristics of the academic writing and what means by organization academic writing should be organized logically in a linear matter of fact fashion use headings to delineate each major section academic writing is well constructed and normally they follow the inductive rules for example in academic writing the students are first introduced about the subject matter for example cloud computing i mean for example a teacher's uh, assignment is to teach cloud computing so according to the academic fashion he must express what cloud computing is give examples tell the different situations in which cloud computing is used is used or applied well scope of cloud computing Clear? I mean, they develop each and every concept logically, give examples, and in written, there are headings. For example, you find it, this 
PPTs in the examples of the organization. I've given heading key characteristics of academic writing. And then one by one, I have these points, formal tone, tone, precise language, point of view, research focus, organization. Fine. Uh, the reason behind is that students actually are often unacquainted, I mean they do not know previously any information or much information about the topic. And if a person, however he is an expert in the field, starting discussing something from high concepts, a deductive manner, the students will be confused to grab or to grip the concept to trace the uh, the topic subheadings and the relationship. Often this problem is faced, uh, especially when the teachers uh, use the board and they write on the board the content and they explain each and every topic, give examples. So that is the best example of the uh, organization and using the board in the classroom is another uh, product or exhibition of the academic writing. Source citations. Maximum academic writing includes at least some second resource research sources. Be sure to properly cite all resources and include a bibliography. Well, this is really an interesting point. And what are the source citations? Well, source citation refers to the literature review of something. For example, uh, some person has been given the assignment of the uh, development of social apps, history and present. Development of the social apps. This is the topic. Now, the very first thing we have to do is finding out the sources. Sources means the topic is divided into proper outlines and then we read from the various books, research papers, papers online, papers in hard encyclopedias, clear? And then we listen to them, read out from them and those resources and take some concepts from and then we refer in our writing that uh, Ms. Mr. David said about that social media is one of the blessings of the current day. And we must give the reference in which article Mr. David or some other writer has expressed. So we give the reference of those articles books, their publishing dates, clear, page numbers, fine. This is called source citation. Source citation is necessary to validate our research. If we have written something and we are not referring the source, uh, that conversation may be enigmatic. Fine. I'm sure that you have learned what are the characteristics of the academic writing. Now the practical tool that whenever the assignments are given to you by your teacher of either subject, you must first formulate it outline. Then according to outline, go and read out the research papers. Take the concept right in your own expression and do note 
the name of the writer, book, chapter, page number, and line number, and then refer it in the last portion of your application. Sorry, in your of your uh, report or your assignment. Fine. So there are many uh, different methods. We'll shall I discuss uh, like IEEE. AP style, fine. Inshallah, when we reach to the uh, report writing and literature review, th then these things will be, these concepts will be refreshed. Thank you very much.